Okay. Cool. So, hey, um, this is my very first video, and I'm going to kick off my tarot channel here on YouTube with a reading for Sagittarius. Um, it is the first day of fall. It's the first day of Libra season. Happy birthday to Libras. And the moon is currently in Sagittarius. So I'm going to tap into the Sagittarius energy signature. Um, what's going on for Sagittarius? Um, yeah, how are you doing, Sagittariuses? This reading can be for you if... This reading is for everyone, okay? Um, I think... The way that I want to approach this as a tarot reader is um, really doing a reading for the energy of Sagittarius. So what energy, just like what it itself feels like right now in the sky. And really leave that up to my viewers to apply that to themselves. So wherever Sagittarius falls in your chart, that's where these messages apply. That's where this reading applies. And um, it's up to you to know where that is. Uh, if it's your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, whatever. Um, whatever house in your astrological chart. Wherever Sagittarius falls, that's where these messages apply. So this is just me taking a look at Sagittarius and offering that as a reflection. So... I ask that this message, these reflections, I ask that they offer Sagittarius healing and um, transformation. Guidance that can assist navigating the current transits, the current moments, cycles. I ask that I can receive messages that I can understand, and I ask that I pass them on in a way that can be understood. I also ask that these messages find those who need them. <clears throat> What's up with Sagittarius? What is on the heart of Sagittarius? Hmm. Page of Pentacles and Justice. That on the bottom. Something about making it right. Something about doing the little things that matter. Doing the little things that create balance, create equality. Um, create sustainability, create something that works well. This is like an image of really putting your best foot forward. They're both upright. Saying, here's my best effort. This is what is my best effort here. But like in a small way. It's the page. It's not rushing in. It's not being too hasty. There isn't. And it was the page first. And the justice underneath it. So it's this like, yeah, there's an energy of Sagittarius needing to really focus on just what makes sense, what balances things out, what, um, you know, Sagittarius is mutable fire. So it's, and it's Jupiter, it's very expansive, it rushes forward. Um, and I think that this season, this Libra season, right, justice, scales, it's all about balance. It's all about seeing things in relationship, seeing what works. And this feels a little uncomfortable for Sagittarius, I think. Um, Sagittarius just wants to do regardless of what it's in relationship to. And... Yeah, so that just feels like maybe Sagittarius 
getting in the groove with that kind of like, oh yeah, this feels good to just pay somebody back, even if it's a small loan or, you know, offer somebody support, even if it's just cooking them a meal or offering an apology, even if it's just a small thing. There's this feeling of feeling good about doing the small things um, that are just the right things to do. Hmm. Oh, interesting. I just read the whole thing. Wow, a lot of pages. Hmm. Damn. Wow. Okay. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna have to give myself a, a I'm giving myself a talking to here. Um my moon is in Sagittarius, so this definitely resonates for me. Um, Sagittarius, it's stop, stop holding back, stop holding back, um, out of fear of being too much. Just do the small things, say hello, say thank you, um, reach out and say, how are you doing? You don't need to do, there's, okay, I'm going to get into this whole spread. It's, it's a beautiful spread, but it's just a very clear, um, Oh, I kind of, I, I feel bad. It's like, I almost feel bad for Sagittarius. Like, stop, stop putting yourself through all this shit. You don't need to. Um, there's a real holding back. There's a real, um, so the center card here is the Nine of Wands. And on either side of him is the Fool in Reverse and the Page of Cups. This just screams, I don't know how to say what I really want to say because it's too much or I think it's, I think it's going to be, I have too much emotion, so I'm not going to say anything at all. Or I have, um, you know, I'm not even going to take the risk because it means so much to me. Um, this is so valuable to me. I feel so passionate. I feel so much about this that I'm being really timid being really timid. Sagittarius is being timid? Seriously? I, that's that um, duality of this like Jupiter ruled sign where you can have, because it's very fiery, there, we can often have this experience, Sag Sagittarius energy can often have this experience of being too much, of being told that it's too much, that it moves too quickly, that it takes up too much space. And I feel like it's causing Sagittarius to be very blocked, to be very um, hesitant about pursuing whatever that passion is, whatever that is that you want to go for. And why I say you don't need to do this, it's like we have a we have a king and a queen pair here on the, the table. We have the ten of cups. Um, and we have temperance alongside the fool. This is this says to me this overall story is like it's all right there for you um if you just do the small things that matter you don't need to rush in and it's like it's very reassuring there's a king and a queen of pentacles both in reverse but it's a pair a king and a, a royal pair right and that to me speaks about the masculine and the, and the feminine being balanced, whatever that means to you, whether that's within your individual, whether that's in your relationship, that is about balance. 
The fact that it's here, but in reverse, literally the only cards, interesting, yeah, the, the, the five and the nine of wands are upright. Five and the nine is 14, which brings it back to five. Interesting, struggle, a struggle to express and be seen, these two. Fighting to get a word in edgewise or taking up space, experiencing it as a struggle, experiencing holding back, wanting to jump in, holding back, having this kind of push and pull around the level of passion and not really trying to find a place for that. And there's a lot of encouragement here that there is a place for that. It's, you're not seeing it yet. Sagittarius is not seeing it yet because this is in reverse. This King of Pentacles, this Queen of Pentacles, and this Ten of Cups. This is that material um, manifestation of that passion, right? This is someone, this is a reality where um, internal passion, I'm sorry, in th this is real <laughs> this this internal passion has been made real um there's legacy right the cups the water this connection tribe family um union coming together with people coming together with your people right the people that you care about um leaving a legacy creating something right and this is all about creating to the pentacles this king and queen pair it's this masculine and feminine energy that have mastered creation, have mastered nurturing and nourishing things and um, making real. This is like what Sag, I, I feel like it's this image of, you know, what Sagittarius is, is desiring for, super passionate about, this, this passion. Um... And Sagittarius is stuck in student mode here. It's like stuck in timid mode. We've got three different pages. Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Page of Wands. This is in reverse. Here's the Wands in reverse, right? Holding back. Holding back on that passion. Holding back on even exploring it. Holding back on even sitting with it and giving it space. Um, all of these pages, it's like being stuck in timid mode, being stuck in, oh, I don't really want to tell this person fully how I feel. So I'm going to hold back and just give them a little bit. I'm not really going to tell them a full, you know, oh, I'm madly in love with you. Here's just oh, I'm kind of interested, right? That's what this looks like. Or, oh, I'm really passionate about this career or this um, thing that I want to create or something that I want to do or someone I want to be. Um, but I don't really want to take the full risk, so I'm just going to put a little bit out there. I'm just going to kind of test the water. going to explore, see what feels okay, what what I can't... There's... um. All this blood, uh, pent up passion behind this timid approach of testing the waters. It's just so encouraging to see, you know, surrounded this guy, his timid, you know, holding back energy, surrounded by all this abundance. Above him, right, is this ten of cups. So it's like the nine, the nine leads to the ten, right? That's the, the sequence. Above him, he's he's the nine of wands. This is his passion. This is that, um, oh my God, is this too good to be true kind of image of like, I really want this. I want the full thing. So I can't even really 
It's like when you, you know, when you don't really care about something that much, it's not that close to your heart. It's kind of easier to act on it. It's easier to talk about it or whatever, easier to express it. This is that feeling of, this is the closest thing to my, this is what I care about the most. So I can't even, I can't even express it at all. And above, you know, on this, on this man's mind is this end all be all legacy, his heart's desires, right? All in reverse. The King of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, sorry, the Ten of Cups and the Page of Wands. That's like, I want this so bad. I, but I don't know how to go about it. I, it's so, this is why I've, I keep feeling like bad and wanting to laugh at the Sagittarius energy. Like, this is so solid. It's so solid saying, um, what are you doing all of this? Second guessing and testing the waters and, and, um, you know what you need to do right? Reach out to that person. Um, initiate that contact. Say what you need to say. Um, this is like screaming to me, it's not that complicated, Sagittarius. You know what you need to do. I also feel like there could be someone waiting on you to work this out. This looks, this is the, the bottom row here underneath the Nine of Wands holding back situation. This Five of Wands in the center, that conflict, that struggle, um, clamoring to be heard, to get above the crowd, that kind of having to push what you want, having to fight for what you want. That's this queen and this temperance card. Angel. Um, to me, it here, here it feels like patience. It feels like um, someone sitting there having a lot of patience with you. Potentially the pacing, patience running out. Um, maybe it's not someone. Maybe it's your blessings. <laughs> I think your blessings are getting frustrated, are having a lack of patience. They're kind of like, like, this almost says to me, this sentence of these three cards makes a sentence. And it almost says, uh, hurry it up. Like, what are you doing struggling? I'm right here. Why are you... Like what's, what's the, what is the, um, these two cards, especially the fact that temperance was the last one here in this corner across from the king of pentacles. Yeah. Oh my God. This row, right? The nine of, the nine of wands in between the king of pentacles and temperance in reverse. It's very, It is a warning. It is a warning like all this good shit that you see, that you feel, that you're desiring, that you're moving towards, whatever that is, Sagittarius, whatever Sagittarius is being pulled towards, having visions about desiring, that, that heart's desire that they feel that they're holding back from, whatever that is, you need to act on it or it's not going to be there for very long. Um, that entire reality. There is a feeling, this feels almost like time's up. Um, the whole spread starts with the King of Pentacles in reverse, right? That stability, that abundance, that position, working yourself into that position that really supports that Ten of Cups kind of energy. He's like, I am working in your favor. I've got everything, you know, I'm balancing everything out for you. But 
but you have to act. You have to act. I feel like this angel is present here, especially under the fool. Talking about just go for it, man. Like, there's a frustration that your angels have with you. Um, there, this feels like your angels are whatever spiritual guides, ancestors, whoever's looking out for you, whoever's making those things happen behind the scenes. I feel like this is what this card often means to me too, is that that energy of how things need to get put into certain alignments so that you can walk your path. And a lot of the time there's shit playing out behind the scenes that you're not even aware of, right? I feel like there's almost like an impatience going on here, Sagittarius, an impatience with you for being so stuck in this. Like, it's like your angels are going, I've got it all laid out here for you. I've got you the king of pentacles. I got you the queen of pentacles. It's right here. You just have to take the step to make it right. There's something you're not doing that's really obvious. There, there is a step that you can take in the right direction that will bring you into balance, bring you into harmony and resonance with all of the shit that you want. All of those visions and passions and desires you have. It's like, yeah, your angels are going, um, we set it all up for you. Take the step. There's so many blessings. <laughs> There's so many blessings around this nine of, nine of Wands energy. This Nine of Wands holding back. This is straight up going, why are you fighting this? Why are you acting like you need to struggle to get this? Um... It's literally being delivered to you. There, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. It's so... You're standing in your own way, Sagittarius. Seriously. Um, there's something really just straightforward. There's a really straightforward step in the right direction. And you have to be the one to take it. Your angels, you're, you can have all the divine help in the world. If you don't step up and actually walk through the door when it's presented to you, if you don't say the thing or do the thing or take the action, right? This is action. Making an offer, making a approach. This is saying we can align all, we can line up the perfect, you know, not perfect, I hate that word. Um, we can line up all this shit for you, all this good abundant shit. But if you're over here doing this, um, instead of doing this, what are we supposed to do? That's what your angels are saying. What the hell are we supposed to do? What do you want me to do with this? <laughs> Um, I'm going to pull some clarifiers, some clarification, some, get another dimension of reflection here because, I mean, Jesus, that's loud. Um, because I get it, I understand Sagittarius, but I want to see... I want to get some little bit of advice or just how can Sagittarius push forward and get out of this holding back, holding close to the chest um, towards being able to just take whatever action it is that moves them forward. Um, yeah, I think...
I'm getting, I'm getting like, um, take the action. There's a, there's a, there's a, you know what the action is. There's a, definitely a message here of like, you already know what you need to be doing and you're just not doing it because it's so close to your heart and you need to just do it. Still, I want to clarify here. What, what can help Sagittarius get to that um, place of action? Whoa. Whoa. The font reversed and the high priestess. This says you know, you already know. <laughs> uh the hero font reversed and the high priestess. Wow. This is this is about really listening to what sits right with you not what you're told is right. So oftentimes, you know, that compass that we have in our gut, in our inner, like, even when things look good on paper, even when that job or that house or relationship or whatever, even when it looks good, everything is taken care of and set up and there's a structure that makes sense. And what do you do when this, when your inner knowing is at complete odds with what it's supposed to look like on the outside right what do you do when everything is going you know everything is lined up right but it just doesn't sit well with you or what do you do when there's this yeah there's this need to stop going by the rules stop trying to figure out what is What's the strategic thing to do? What's the, this is really about following your inner knowing, following your inner compass and doing what you know is right. Um, there may be some kind of agreement or contract or commitment in place that is actually stopping Sagittarius from doing it, from, from taking that action, from tapping into that knowledge, right? It could be this, because the Hierophant came out like it was, she was underneath, the high priestess was underneath the Hierophant. It's kind of like he's sitting on top of her, right? Maybe um, suppressing that. You know, Sagittarius, you can be very, very intuitive, right? This energy, mutable fire, it's about tapping into that collective fire. Understanding from that perspective, huge, broad perspective that Sagittarius's have. But don't get caught up in thinking that everything you're looking at is everything you can see. Okay? Um, you, your blind spots, you have blind spots too. Just because you have exceptional intuition or exceptional sight doesn't mean that you're not missing things. And this really speaks to me about something being very obvious that you're missing due to something that's blocking your intuition. Your intuition is blocked. You think it might, it's like, yeah, it's almost like, let me see what's on the, let me see what's on the board. <laughs> This is the advice. I can't. You can't make this shit up. The Fool, Six of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Sun. So the Fool here in the original spread came out reversed. Here it is upright. This is about. This card is about taking risk. It's about being willing to look like a fool for what you care about, right? Like that energy of, I don't care what you guys think, I'm doing what's important to me, I'm going for it, I'm taking the leap. Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is, this is the definition of holding back, measuring, breadcrumbing, only giving 
the tiniest bit, only giving, um, right? This is literally saying stop measuring every little thing that you're giving and go for it. Along with the sun, this is about stepping into, I want to say the light, but that's so obvious. Stepping into being seen, being witnessed, being um, coming on center stage and allowing, allowing that, allowing yourself. It's about the self, right? It's about the, it's this along with the, the fool is like, just be yourself. You know, there's a real, there's a frustration here, but there's also a real strong, like, encouragement, a real strong, angelic, like, you know better. <laughs> you know better. What you have the impulse to do is safe. There's this real, like, you can, you can be known. You can jump, you know, as, as this fool, take a leap and jump into center stage. You don't need to wait until everything is just perfect. You don't need to, there's a, yeah, this feels like the angel, like if I'm asking this angel presence here, right, who's frustrated with Sagittarius for holding back, um, it's like, that's really, these, these three cards feel really encouraging. See how bright and yellow and, and orange they are? It's like, listen to this. Listen to this blue. Be, be willing to... Ah, oh, yeah, it's almost like Sagittarius's bigness and, oh, I know, I can see so far in advance. Oh, I, I, have, I, I'm, it's like that is doing this weird thing that's got you like stuck in not actually doing that and stuck in this student mode, but that's like a fake student mode. It's like, actually listen, actually receive. There's something trying to come into you that brings you balance. Just listen, just receive, just do the thing that's right there. You don't need to go searching. You don't, there's no searching. There's no getting away here. There's no destroying. There's nothing stopping Sagittarius other than your blind spot. There's nothing standing in Sagittarius. There's no like rescuing or getting rid of, there's no like tower or whatever. It's literally the only thing stopping Sagittarius from the 10 of cups, which is what everybody wants to get to, right? The only thing stopping Sagittarius from this King of Pentacles, this Queen of Pentacles, is the fact that you're holding back because you feel like you're too much. So just be too much. This is what this says, just be too much. Aries and Leo, right? These two these two cards are often associated with Aries and Leo. That's that, um, the other fire elements. That's the encouragement. That's this angelic encouragement going, take the fucking leap. This feels like a push off the edge of that cliff that this, you know, that he is on, that Sagittarius is on that edge of that cliff going, um, I don't know, can I just try it out? I don't really want to go for the whole, do I have to reveal my whole hand? Do I have to really, yes, yes you do, yes you do. I didn't say so, your angel said so. <laughs> Okay, this is a very blessed time, moment, um, and you're being asked to listen to your gut, be willing to receive 
the unexpected, you know, be willing to deviate from what you thought you knew and step up and do what's right. Do what needs to be done. Do the, the small, it's like the small things matter. You don't have to go very far. You already know what it is. Like just, there's this wanting you to like, as you're, as we're doing this, Sagittarius, right, as we're letting that fire out, letting that fire take up space, um, taking that risk, expressing it, it's like, as you're doing that, listen, listen, and act in a way that responds to relationship, right? Um, there's a, a balancing between those two. Show up, right? It's like, if you get so caught up in feeling like you're taking too much space, you don't end up showing up at all. If you get so caught up in, oh, I know everything. Um, oh, I, I can't. You know, it's like you get stuck not listening. You get stuck not receiving those messages that are trying to come to you. You're, you can't hear your angels. You can't see, you can't do the obvious thing that's right there to do. If you're all in your head about, oh, it's too much. I have, I can't, you know, I can't go for it. I can't be this full. It's, I'm getting annoyed again. <laughs> Um, I think that's pretty clear. I think that's pretty clear. I feel like, I feel like this blessings are very much here for you. It's not too late, but there is a time element. There is like a Sagittarius, do what you need to do. Pay attention. Pay attention from... A real place pay attention from a place of what you know to be true do those things that take you in that direction because you have a lot of support working in your favor you have a lot of things lined up to meet you when you take that step when you take that leap off the edge when you show up so yeah Thank you for this reading. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all the Sagittariuses out there, to all the Sagittarius energy in the world. Um, I love you and appreciate you, and I appreciate checking in and reading for Sagittarius. So I will um, I'm gonna do Capricorn next. See you then. <laughs>